Welcome back to this tutorial series introducing you to projection mapping in Resolum. In this video, we will add custom text to our Cake projection mapping project. You can write names, dates, and custom messages for wedding cakes, birthday cakes, and cakes for other celebrations, making it the perfect way to customize and personalize the cake. Adding text in Resolume is incredibly straightforward and its pre-packaged effects very quickly produce some slick and eye-catching results with a few clicks. Let's start by locating everything to do with text in the list of sources in the directory. You can speed up this process by starting to type text in the search field. We are presented with text animator and its presets and text block. A text block is pretty much what you'd expect a simple block of text. You can customize the text content, font, color, size, and much more. However, with text block, there are no parameters that allow you to introduce animation to your text. That's the domain of text animator. There are five text animator presets. I'm going to demonstrate what each of them does. If you're keen to skip ahead to the part showing you how to make your own custom message for your cake mapping project, use the time codes I've included in the description to jump forwards. Drag the dangle preset to a clip slot and trigger it. This is text with each of its characters being animated with a playful swinging action. Scroll down in the clip properties panel to animate, which we can see has been activated. Open the Animate section and we can see what's happening. It can look quite confusing at first, but we can systematically change some parameters to better identify which parameters are producing which effect. First, change Range from Characters to Lines. Now we can see a little better that this is a simple back and forth rotation being animated down here. If I pause the animation and move the slider manually, we can appreciate that the animation is bouncing between a positive and a negative rotation value. It moves back and forth because the playback is set to bounce as opposed to loop or play once. If I add a second line of text, simply the word Resolume again, we can see there is a slight delay to the animation on the second line. The delay is set here, a delay of 100 milliseconds. If we set that to zero, both lines rotate at the same time with no delay between the two. I'll set it back to 100 milliseconds. Now if we return the range to characters, we know we are seeing the same back and forth rotation animation applied to each character in sequence, moving from front to back, i.e. from the start of the text to the end of the text, with a 100 millisecond delay between each character. The delay produces this bunching effect, which disappears if we remove the delay. Wave is exactly the same animation as Dangle, except its anchor point is in a different position in Y. Drag and drop Flicker and trigger it. Scroll down to Animate and take a look inside. Here we can see the range is again set to character and the order to front to back. If we set the delay to zero, we can see that the opacity is jumping to random values which has been set here with the random playback option. This gives the text a flickery, agitated look. Drag and drop one shot and trigger it to see what it does. It produces an animation that happens just once as the name suggests. I'll swivel down the animate section, then trigger it again and again so we can see the parameters animating. We can see opacity, scale and rotation are animated. 
notice scale and rotation have been restricted within specific ranges. They are set to play in reverse, set with these backwards arrows. They are set to play once with these single headed arrows and to restart from the beginning after they're triggered. Type on and off is descriptively named. The text appears character by character and disappears in the same way. Coming down to animate, we see opacity is animated with playback set to forwards and loop. The appearing character by character effect is achieved with the delay. We can see this if we temporarily set the delay to zero. The opacity does not gradually fade up as you might expect because of this custom envelope graph. This graph represents opacity on the Y axis over time on the X axis. If we drag this point to produce a linear gradient, it means that as time increases, so does opacity, which produces a fade in. However, if we return the graph back to how it was, it means that at this time, there is an abrupt jump from 0% opacity to 100% opacity with no time for a fade. Now we have a better understanding of some of the preset animations, let's start crafting our custom text message. I'll clear these example text clips. For my example, I'm going to continue the theme of a wedding and make something simple but elegant and fairy tale themed. I'll start fresh with a text animator. Drag and drop it to a clip slot and trigger it. In the Clip Properties panel, alter the text from the default Resolume to your custom message. I'm going to go with the classic and they lived happily ever after. I'll add a line break manually in the text field. Change the alignment to center. Reduce the size so it fits inside the composition. I want to choose a font that complements my fairy tale themed message. I'm going to go for a gothic font that looks like text from a storybook called English Town by Dieter Steffmann which is labelled as free for personal and commercial use. I've linked to the font in the description. Resolume will load any fonts that are installed on your machine, so make sure the font you want is installed. You may need to restart Resolume if you install the new font while the program is open. With our new font, you might need to adjust the size again. Our next issue is the spacing between the lines. Let's adjust spacing Y and position Y until the two lines of text sit equidistant inside the cake tiers. Now let's add some animation. Check on animate and let's start playing with some of these parameters. Animate opacity in the timeline. Now I don't actually like this typewriter effect. I think it's fun in general use, but it doesn't gel with the gentle, romantic fairy tale atmosphere I'm trying to create. So I'll set the range to all. Now I want to keep things very simple and have a gentle fade in and out on my text. I want my animation to play forwards, so I'll keep this arrow checked. I'll leave it looping for now while we work on the look. By clicking the arrow beside opacity, select envelope. At the moment, we can see we have a linear fade in. I want a fade in, but I also want a fade out again. Therefore, I will have to add some more nodes by double clicking the line on the graph. Create a shape that goes from 0% opacity to 100% and then back down to 0%. This is better, but the fades last for too long and the text isn't fully opaque for long enough. 
Double click twice more to create two more nodes either side of the middle node. Drag these out to the side to create short fades in and out with a long period of full opacity in the middle. Delete the unnecessary node in the centre by selecting it and hitting delete. To make these fades a little more gentle, I want to ease in and out of them. I do this by selecting the node and changing the curve for each of them to quadratic in out. The whole thing is happening too fast, so I'll slow the speed to 0.5, so it's playing half the speed it was before. If I want this text to appear as part of an autopilot controlled sequence, I'll need to know the duration to give it. Frustratingly, setting the duration under transport does not change the timeline over which the animation takes place. For example, if I change the duration to 15 seconds, the time over which the animation is happening does not change. It still occurs over the default 5 seconds, not over 15 seconds like you might expect. The problem you face is you need to know what duration to set so that the autopilot moves on at the right time. For example, if I set this duration to 2 seconds and turn on autopilot for layer 2 and trigger our text clip, the autopilot moves on after 2 seconds before our animation has finished. On the other side of the coin, we don't want the duration to be so long that autopilot sits on the clip for too long after it's faded out. You can calculate the correct duration by dividing the default animation time, 5, by the speed value of your animation. So in this case, 5 divided by 0.5, which is 10. So I set the duration to 10. Now Autopilot will move on at the correct time. And don't forget, we can add all Resolume's effects to this text just like any other clip. For example, from the Effects tab in the directory, we could search for sparkles and add the effect to our text clip. In the Sparkle Effects properties, ensure the size is set to 1. Change the colour to something you like. Lower the amount to 1 the speed to 0.5 and the spread to 0.4. Apologies if the sparkles are a little hard to see at this point. I actually think these sparkles would look better white, so I'll add a brightness contrast effect and increase the brightness all the way to 100%. Another fun effect that might look good is the shimmer preset of the goo effect. Turn the opacity way down to around 10%. Set the max distort in X and Y to around 0.3. Turn the speed down to 0.1. Now the text looks like it's shimmering in a magic mirror. What text do you intend to put on your projection mapped cake? Do you have any questions? Let us know in the comments down below. If this video helped you, please hit that like button. Hit subscribe to stay up to date with more cake mapping and projection mapping tutorials and videos.